Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to install Carbon ROM on the LG Ultimate 2. This is a LG Ultimate 2, you can tell from the back here. And if I take the back cover of the phone off, you'll see that it does have the track phone logo right on it. Right there. This is the LG Ultimate 2. And, yes. So, your first step is to make sure you have Team Win Recovery version 2, not my version. Do not use my version. I did make Team Win Recovery originally for this phone, but then another user made a better version. And you need to use that version. It is Team Win Recovery 2.8.6.0. Please use that. <clears throat> and then I will put the link the download link to the carbon rom below um soon but for now not yet so your first step is to go to wipe advanced wipe double a cache data and cache and then you're just going to slide to wipe right here slide this little thing and then it will wipe <coughs> your phone then if we go back Make sure you downloaded the ROM <clears throat> to your SD card. Make sure it says selected as storage micro SD card. Then scroll down until you find Carbon KK unofficial 2015 620 W5C. I'm going to tap on that. Then swipe to confirm flash. It will start to flash the Carbon ROM and that is the Carbon logo right there. And a second here, it will flash the ROM. Its first step is to install the system, and then its next step will be to set permissions. Then after that, it will be all set. And create the sim links, and now it is done. And then what you want to press is wipe devil a cache, and there you go. Then press reboot system and your phone will reboot into the Carbon ROM. Now Carbon ROM is basically stock Android with a few extra functions over top of it. It will hang on the LG logo for about maybe 20 to 30 seconds here. Then after that it will open up to the Carbon boot animation. And I will wait for that so you can see it. And also, just to confirm, this this is an LG Ultimate 2. A lot of people are going to say, oh, that's not an LG Ultimate 2, but it is. And you get the carbon boot animation. And it will boot for a little while. I'm just going to pause this so that we don't have to... So the carbon ROM is almost done booting here, you can tell. And the screen just dimmed, and there we go. Now carbon ROM is installed on your phone. Da, 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 da. Now I will explain a few bugs in this. So bug number one. The touch screen doesn't work. And uh also Bug number two, sound doesn't work. Bug number three, well, there's so many bugs. Bug number three is basically that you don't get cell service. Um, and I don't even know the rest of the bugs, but I can confirm the phone does charge, vibrate works. That's vibrating. And that the home button does work. See, if we turn it off, then press the home button, it turns back on. And the volume down and volume up buttons work. It's just you don't hear any sound when changing them. There's my face. And I cannot confirm the back buttons because I've attempted a few fixes for them. And pressing the back buttons does absolutely nothing. Menu button, I'm not even sure about. Probably doesn't do anything. But I know for a fact that the home button works. 
And if not, if I ever fix the touchscreen, I will add soft keys on top of it so that you can navigate the phone. But when you press the power button, you will notice that there is a little, yeah, like that's like an old TV screen, but it is very choppy, very uneven. So that's basically it. And if you would like to restore your backup, remove the battery of the phone. And also, make sure you made a backup before we do this. Now we have the battery removed. Pick up the phone. Oh, press the volume down and the power buttons. Once the phone vibrates, release them, then press on them again. And continue to hold them. Then use the arrow keys to navigate and press yes each time. Then it will open up in Team Win Recovery. Then just select Restore. Then select your backup that you made before. And then just swipe to Restore. And then your backup will be restored. Um, this, this ROM is basically a proof of concept. So it shows that we can boot um, the Carbon ROM and a few, uh, a select number of KitKat ROMs on the LG Ultimate 2. And also, um, I'm guessing you may be able to boot stock LG L70 ROMs with maybe a couple of tweaks, which I may try to boot a stock LG L70 ROM. And so, um, thank you for watching, and please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will put the download link up soon, so don't worry. And uh, have a nice day.